that's probably the biggest thing. So you can have someone who performs amazingly, but if they're bringing other people down, you probably aren't recognizing where they're actually hurting your business. So that's when you want to identify those people. Um, even if, as an individual, they outsell everybody else, they can be hurting your business in areas that you don't know, um, and it's harder to grow with that, and they become deterrents for your business. So you need to get rid of those people or re-coach them if they're coachable. It's somebody within the company, then you know, maybe through coaching or correction, things like that. But hopefully, the whole the whole thought is that if you hire the right people, you will hopefully you can kind of avoid a lot of that. Right. Uh, in order to have a, a good team, yeah. um, it's hard to do that when somebody is actively fighting against what the team wants. Even if their credentials are outstanding, we've always tried to hire and create people who are here for the right reasons. Um, regardless of their background. I mean, we have two pastors on staff for that reason. We have um, you know, people who have came from a lot of different backgrounds in order to fit into our culture, our family, because we care about the type of person more than the, what they are on paper. So I, I think when you think about performance, uh, especially the way that the way that the workplace is today and, the, and as competitive as things are and as important as culture has become in the workplace, performance is a piece of the pie. And what I've come to understand is that you can generally take care and increase and improve someone's performance. But you can perform all you want, but if you are what they may call a cancer to the culture of the company, if you, if you don't know how to treat people, if you don't know how to treat your employees, if you don't know how to treat your team members, what happens is you have all the value from his high performance, but all of his shit that he brings to the table ends up causing way more problems than his performance can offset. So at the end of the day, he doesn't have enough performance to make up for that. So it's obvious that you can't keep people like that and the smart move is to not keep people like that. I firmly believe um, in that. I actually worked here when one of the terrorists worked here. So um, it's been um, very interesting to see how the dynamic changed uh, when the terrorists left the company. Um, and um, there's just really not any place in a company for, for a terrorist. Um, they tend to uh, hoard knowledge. You know, they want to do everything themselves. They want all the credit. And, um, and, and I think when you, when you have a terrorist, um, it, it stifles the growth of, of the rest of the team. Uh, I myself don't work great with assholes. And if I, in the past when I have worked with assholes, I found it very hard for me to want to do things for them and work with them. In order for the company to feel like family, I think that you know you can't have you can't have assholes around. I think we've all worked with those kind of people. Who, I mean, ultimately, there's you know there's the people that are just in it for just for number one, and they're looking out for themselves, and they really don't care uh, about the people around them. They really don't care about about the company as a whole, but just where, where they can get what they can do, and, um, and I think those are the people to kind of look out for the most when you're trying to build a company, um, <clears throat> to get rid of them, because you know, they, they'll, they'll tear the company down just to, to rise up on it. It was pretty early on when I started here, I heard the speech, you know, I started kind of close to um, when we were doing it, our first user group, or one of the first ones that I was at, so I got to hear all that stuff pretty early on and it was pretty good. Last year, last year, I started off by saying you know, the same thing. You know, the things you gotta do is go and fire the assholes. Did anybody want to admit that they went back and fired the assholes at work? <laughs> well, I'm gonna ask them again next year. <laughs> and find out. Because when you keep those people around, they are like a cancer and then they'll infect everyone else. So you won't know until you don't have that. And when you don't know, you're living in evolving pollution until you breathe fresh air. Um, but I agree. I mean, 
people can be toxic to an organization. And if you have the wrong people, they'll just gossip and, and tear everyone apart and there'll be secrets everywhere and that's just not a good environment to work in. It's not something you look forward to going to.